But back then, if you had a commercial break in your match, it was something almost big because you're in two separate segments. Hello everyone, this is Dinsmore's Commentary and I'm your host, Nick Dinsmore. We have a good episode today, good episode, we have a great episode today. One of the highlights of my career, the night that I won the WWE Tag Team Championship with my partner William Regal. November 15, 2004, Kaseko Fieldhouse, Indianapolis, Indiana. I remember it like it was yesterday. La Resistance against Rhino and Tajiri against William Regal and Eugene. My mother was in the crowd, but first I gotta send a shout out to the guy that wanted to see this one. Bowser Slayer. Thank you, brother. This one's for you. Enjoy. Rob Conway is probably one of my best friends in the business. We started pretty much the exact same time in OBW in Louisville. We were both hired by WWE because we were in OBW in Louisville in the developmental system. You know, he made it to TV before I did and came in with a smash. The Dudleys with the big USA chant against La Resistance, who at the time was Rene Dupree and Sylvain Grognier. He came in as the big patriot and then turned on the Dudleys. Such an impact. Immediately, he was a main event player. And it wasn't by chance that Eugene's first match was against Rob. But Eugene wrestled Rob in the tag team, you know, matches all across the United States and around the world. Because we wrestled each other over a thousand times before we ever made it to WWE. We had good timing. We knew each other in and out of the ring. I mean, it was just, you know. To be paired with William Regal is like a bucket list highlight. Getting into the business, I looked up to William Regal and, and, and to see him, you know, I, and I enjoyed his style. And did he do that? Did he fold it up and throw it out? <laughs> but to be paired with him in the ring and ride with him and learn from him, you know, I learned a lifetime's worth of, of just knowledge of the business because of him. To Jerry's so good. He could run across the ring and kick you in the nose and just take care of you. Great guy. Again, a very good friend in the business. At this point, it was actually Tajiri, Regal, and I that would ride together in the car. But I think I only wrestled Tajiri a handful of times in my career. But again, good timing. Guy, you see, so good. Oh, oh, bastard, what are you doing? We were riding the car, miles and miles and hours and hours. Tajiri might talk on the phone in Japanese to, to, he always said he was talking to Funaki, yeah, I had no idea who he was really talking to, talking to Japanese, but he wouldn't speak, he wouldn't say anything you know, in the car, except usually right when we get to the hotel, good night, or see you tomorrow, just one thing, like he wouldn't speak at all. One time it was my wife Stephanie and I on the road, Jerry rode with us, three hour car ride, he didn't say a word until we get to the hotel. He's going to get out of the car, he goes, Stephanie, you broke the rubbery, and shuts the door. She looks at me, she says, what's he talking about, rubbery? What have you been telling him? I said, no, he said, you look lovely, so. <laughs> oh, Rob tagged himself in, that son of a gun. We were having fun. See, there's hate there. The people liked what they were seeing. You know, I mean, you take away something that the people like, that's what they, that's what they dislike. We were having fun. Good times going on. Papa Chai! Did you could go from comedy to, to, to brawling to martial arts? Phenomenal. Still doing great. Wow! Regal's character is babyface mentor for Eugene. It was like, no other you know, character that I've seen him portray in his, in his illustrious career. He's always been a villain, but I think this was the one time that we saw William Regal have a little bit of a heart. You know, he was always cold-blooded and, and, and just, you know, from the British character to, to just the... But this was the one time I think that, you know, people really got to see that, that he's a genuinely nice guy. And his love for Eugene, you know, endeared the people to everything that went on with the whole story. And it was it was him, it was William Regal that, that made the whole thing. Because you take, you know, you take the uh, the Scrooge that everybody knows is mean hearted that you finally realize he does have a heart. 
And this is what people want to see. People want to see redemption. People want to see comebacks. It was a commercial break not too long ago. Now on Raw, when it's three hours, we have to stretch the matches out so you might get a commercial break. But back then, if you had a commercial break in your match, it was something almost big because you're in two separate segments. Most of the time, they would just stuff it into one segment along with something else and your match would just be real short. You know, this kind of told us, you know, they want us to tell that story. They want us to show everything and build this and make it good because it's going to be a moment. You know, we're going to give you more than one segment. There's nothing like the electricity of hitting a move that the people want to see. The rock bottom, the people's elbow, the stunner, an RKO, the electricity that emerges. Still gives me goosebumps today. And there's Eugene and Riddle. Getting their names in the history book. Winning the tag team titles. The WWE tag team titles. In front of my mother, in front of my sister. And look at Regal. It means everything to him. And he's been in multiple tag teams, won the tag team titles multiple times. But look, he finally showed heart. And that's, a, that's something I think that endeared the people to the whole storyline. It was two performers 100% committing to what they were doing, believing with what they were doing, living what they were doing. And everybody went on that ride with us. So for the next some odd months, Regal would make me carry both championship belts because you get stopped at the airport and the TSA, oh, bring all the, the belts are here, the champions are here, you rest them. They want to try them on and take pictures, so it's a whole ordeal. And Regal knew that, so he would get both of them to me, so I had to carry them through, through security. Well, that's all the time we have for Dinsmore's commentary. I love that episode. When I went tag team titles with William Regal, was one of my highlights. Check out yet another one of my highlights in the episode that we did last time, which was Kurt Angle's medal. Eugene winning Kurt Angle's medal in the Kurt Angle Invitational. Heck of a match. Watch that episode. I want you to subscribe so I can notify you when the new episodes are out. We need to share this with all your friends. I want to know what you guys think about the episode. The episodes that you want to see, what you want me to talk about. This is for you. Last but not least, thumbs up. For everybody out there in TV land and wrestling land, all across the world, all across the universe, I'm Nick Dinsmore, and I will see you at the ringside.